we choose those to whom we will turn for truth and guidance. The voices and pressures of the world are engaging and numerous, but too many voices are deceptive, seductive, and can pull us off the covenant path. To avoid the inevitable heartbreak that follows, I plead with you today to counter the lure of the world by making time for the Lord in your life each and every day. If most of the information you get comes from social or other media, your ability to hear the whisperings of the Spirit will be diminished. If you are not also seeking the Lord through daily prayer and gospel study, you leave yourself vulnerable to philosophies that may be intriguing, but are not true. Even saints who are otherwise faithful can be derailed by the steady beat of Babylon's band. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. These are the latter days. Travis Wayne Goodsell. So with Putin invading Ukraine yesterday, the uh, last days Armageddon, Magog, World War Three, apocalypse has begun. And you'd think Mormons would be like all yeah, we know all about this, we know the timeline and everything and blah blah blah, we're all set, ready to go. Right? Nope. Mormons are looking beyond the mark. What a surprise. I, I just... And so, why then is YouTube under orders by the church to silence my videos? <laughs> oh, right. I'm the one who's right. And the church has been led astray. And so, yeah, I did a check. <clears throat> LDS Latter Days. And the dominant person 
his gospel lessons. He's got uh, 54K for the last day's hidden timeline. <laughs> In document and covenant section 89 about the word of wisdom. <laughs> That's the number one recommended video for that search on YouTube. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, Mormons, oh my god, you are in big trouble. Oh my god. Talk about sheep to the slaughter. And it's like all my years of effort to try to get to you, to try to reach you, and that. <laughs> you are creating a latter days, a hidden timeline. <laughs> 54K. Oh, dear God. Oh, but look, there's my video I just did recently. The Sunday school lesson about the destruction of Sodom. Yay. That's got like 58 views. Yay. <laughs> 58 compared to 54,000. Just, dear God, guys, where are your priorities? I mean, seriously, you're Mormon, Latter-day Saints, you have, are fascinated by all this stuff, obviously, but you're looking beyond the mark. We'll go over the timeline of that gospel nutcase. <sighs> Here he's talking about the coming apostasy in the latter days, LDS signs of the times. The problem is, is that I saw his timeline, I've got the snap from the video and so it's the, it's already happened so why is he talking about it <laughs> I mean I mean these videos are recent the coming apostasy is one year ago and has 141 K and it's six months ago for the the hidden timeline <laughs> That's what's called coded. <laughs> and Mormons are like clueless when I use coded. Should I use hidden? Is that what Mormons want to see? <laughs> oh my god. The hidden timeline of the latter days in the Book of Mormon. The hidden timeline in the Joseph Smith history for the latter days. The hidden timeline still hidden in the Doctrine and Covenants for the latter days. Oh dear God. And so here's a woman lying in an interview about latter day saint polygamy question and answer. Church lies. You know, the church historians have revealed that Brigham Young's hostages gave confessions I keep doing those videos for you that Joseph Smith was innocent and you don't believe because the church says oh yeah Joseph Smith oh it was all him yeah no Brigham Young no he didn't confess to being the sole responsible one about polygamy and that Joseph Smith was a loser because he didn't establish it You can't trust the Journal of Discourses, but you can trust people's journals of those who were held hostage by Brigham Young and their terrorist video confessions. <laughs> I mean, dear God. And here's one, another Gospel Lessons guy a year ago, so 2021. Okay, 2021, the final plagues prior to the second coming. <laughs> what do you 
bet he brings out section 45, verse 31. Anybody want to place your bets now? <laughs> I mean, this is 142K. Oh my god. This nutball has deceived Mormons. All Mormons want this information. They want the information I'm providing. And this nutball is leading them down the path of hidden darkness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. My god, the latter days are here, guys. Why can't you see this? Because when we get to the guys... Oh my god. And here's one that's been around for nine years. That's got over 551k. It's Ezra Taft Benson's talks about the latter days. And so, yeah, he confesses, yeah, we're going to overthrow American government. What? Yeah, the Constitution's not going to be saved. Joseph Smith is wrong. <laughs> the church is going to reign supreme after Putin destroys America. It's all planned. You're all doomed. Obey or die. <clears throat> and then here's where the timeline comes from. Second coming of Jesus Christ timeline. LDS Latter Days. So yeah, we'll get to that. It's at 45K uh, four months ago. Yeah, four months ago. Gospel lessons. I mean, every Mormon loves him. Oh, uh, and he's young. He, he's not an experienced Mormon. He's young. Probably fresh off the mission. A wannabe apologist. And so here's one vital for the latter days which causes me to cringe. You've never seen a missionary share this talent. <laughs> He's clogging! <laughs> well, the church must be true if missionaries can clog. Wow, I'm going to join that church. Yeah, the doctrine must be true. <laughs> oh my god. And then he went and did another another video, which I was trying to figure out, how could I do that? Should I just do a straight out video about this? Mormons are like, eh, because you've heard in the news, right, the Arizona uh, pastor and now a Michigan pastor, they've said a word wrong in baptisms. And so now, according to the church's practice, all of those baptisms are null and void. So all those people are now going to burn in hell. <laughs> it's total chaos in the church, in that church. But uh, for Mormonism, it's a priesthood thing that has been a problem and Nelson and other prophets have addressed it over the decades but it still continues priesthood brethren don't get it when you give a blessing when you lay your hands upon somebody it's always by the authority of the priesthood and yet too many fall prey to by the power of the priesthood. I even had to correct other companions in the mission field who were saying, by the power. No! Authority! <sighs> but the church? No, nah, if we say power, you correct them, and they do it better the next time. It, it doesn't null and void anything that doesn't well Mormons still burn in hell <laughs> but, but, that's for a different reason uh, 
Dear God. Alright, let's find that nutcase's timeline. It's like Book of Mormon geography. Every Mormon has their different take on it. <laughs> and all of them are true. It's the one true. This is the one true timeline. <laughs> See, because here it is. <laughs> There's no dates. Oh, he's safe. He can't be judged now. <laughs> oh, my God. And so, the three and a half war, half year war, Armageddon, there he is, a smack dab in the middle of it. And <clears throat> we're there. But he said, uh, how long ago was it that he said? Let's go back and find out. <sighs> Second coming of Christ timeline. Four months ago. Four months. Oh my God! Somebody help me! No! 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 So you see that the three and a half years is this tiny little sliver on the grand scale, and so four months ago we are way back at near the beginning. Latter-day apostasy. Oops. <laughs> Latter-day signs. What are those signs? I don't think he actually does a video about those signs. I doubt it. I'm the only one who knows the subject matter. <laughs> and yet, 54K... A billion K. Me, 54. Thank you, YouTube, for your suppression and censorship of what's vital for Mormons. Times of the Gentiles fulfilled. Seriously, dude, <laughs> do you not understand what that is? <laughs> And so, uh, I guess according to the timeline, he got it correct for the Mark of the Beast, because it looks like it's at least uh, f five years ago when the Mark of the Beast emerged. And so it's a little off. It's been, let's see, it's 2022, so five years, yeah, 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 five years ago, <laughs> Mark of the Beast, okay, <laughs> does he know what the Mark of the Beast is, does he know what it was worn on the foreheads of the followers of the Beast? But me, I was doing videos back then about it. I knew what the Mark of the Beast was when it happened. I mean, dear God. And so the two witnesses in Jerusalem. Oh, wait a minute. Armageddon's supposed to be in Jerusalem? Hmm. Well, that runs contrary to Bruce R. McConkie. Little youngin, rising generation Mormon. Because again, let's go over it. But John in Revelation says, really? In a parable form, right? A parable form, and you think it's literal? Mm hmm. And so when you read in the chapter headings by Bruce R. McConkie in Ezekiel 38, 
the battle of Gog and Magog against Israel shall usher in the second coming. The Lord will come amid war. So, Jerusalem? No, that's a little south from where Christians, and thus Bruce R. McConkie, because Mormons are Christian, we've denounced all things Joseph Smith. That's in Ukraine and Russia. That's Magog. Gog is the leader of Magog. Though apparently they were two separate sons of Japheth. But, you know, Mormons don't care. That's looking beyond the mark. <laughs> Even your pronunciation, Travis, that's wrong. It's Japheth. And oh my god, a temple worker tried to correct my pronunciation as if it was not going to be accepted. <laughs> it would have to be done all over again. Oh, sorry, you've gone all this way through the endowment to get to this point and you pronounced it wrong. You're going to have to redo the whole two-hour endowment. Sorry, denied. <clears throat> Submit it again. <laughs> oh my god. And so, oh, uh, we're supposed to have returned to Missouri by now. Uh oh. Oops. Didn't you get the message from the current living prophet of Jesus? Zion is here in Utah, dude. We're not leaving. There's not even a secret... There's not even a secret Adam on Diamond priesthood meeting where only those who get a special ticket to go will go. We're not going. Church wants nothing to do with Missouri. And I've been doing the videos since I found it in the Joseph Smith Papers, 19 July 1840. It's not even Missouri. It's Southern Illinois. <sighs> and so Russia returns. And he's got that part. <laughs> Russia's coming to Utah. I mean, even Mike Lee tried to get a bill through the legislator to have Russia come to Utah. But you guys aren't paying attention. You guys are in your own little reality world for the latter days. You're looking beyond the mark. See, and you think it's a temple in Jerusalem. Because you think the war is in Jerusalem. Because you didn't catch on that John's revelation are parables. He's using metaphors. Do you think it's a real beast? then why do you think it's a real Jerusalem and the real Jerusalem temple and the real Jews but you don't think it's the beast <laughs> you don't think it's real horsemen of the apocalypse but it's the real Jerusalem Jews and temple <laughs> because Joseph Smith did the same thing in section 45. Oh my god! See, this is what Mormons are being led to believe. They look at this, they don't bother to study their scriptures, they don't get a clue of what's going on right now to say, hey, wait a minute, war in Ukraine. Isn't that where Magog is? And you don't listen to me. YouTube won't let you listen to me. The church is pissed and destroyed me because I they, they know I know. See the prophets know the true timeline. They know this yuck knock need knock knock. <laughs> I don't know which alien language that was. But 
it's a good thing I used that alien language. <sighs> City of Enoch, we'll call it that one. <laughs> oh my god! See, you guys aren't paying attention. Even, ah, uh, dear god. See, the return to Missouri is the same as the City of Enoch returning. Because it's a parable. And you don't care. You're looking beyond the mark. I mean, this is sad. I'm a Mormon, born and raised. I did my research. I did a chart like this. It was better. Because <laughs> I actually did the work. I mean, oh dear God. I mean, this guy just takes it from the manuals. And so, yeah. They had second coming, first appearance, second coming, uh, second appearance, second coming main event. Oh my God. See, the second coming, second appearance is at the end of the war, but he thinks it's in Jerusalem. And then a second coming first appearance. Guess what? That's Adam on Diamond. Or it should be. If he doesn't think it's Adam on Diamond, oh my God. But Nelson, you guys aren't paying attention to Nelson. You're not paying attention, guys. He's purposely not telling you things, leading you on, as he's telling you hidden knowledge that you're not catching on to. You know, when he comes up and says the Babylon band, he thinks you all know what he's talking about. <laughs> and you don't! <sighs> so, yeah, I, I thought about doing a video of what's been fulfilled so far with the signs in the heavens and, and deaths of prophets but I've already been doing those videos for you guys that's the whole problem is you see someone who's telling you the truth and you don't believe it because you'd rather believe this nutball who's fresh off his mission probably at BYU he's taking the course on the latter days He's got a YouTube channel. He's able to be professional rather than doing it from his home. <sighs> Seriously? Uh, you'd rather be entertained and be fed lies. Because persecution of the saints. Oh, that's already happened. Well, oof, wow, Brad Wilcox just barely made it. Brad Wilcox is being persecuted for his racism. Oh, why can't they just leave him alone? Yeah, he had the whole weekend to cool people down. Uh, I, this isn't the time and place. Uh, I'll call you. <laughs> but yeah, we're already supposed to be returned to Missouri by now. That, that's part of the persecution of the saints and the exodus to Missouri. Oops! You guys wanted to go during winter time. <laughs> and it's cooling back down again. We've had our what is weirdly termed Indian summer uh, because the natives uh, have been telling about how the pattern is, is that we'll have winter and then there will be a period of time where it warms up and then it'll go back to winter again until we finally... Uh, have spring and then summer and fall but uh, yeah it's getting colder now after the warming with the storm for about a week I mean oh my goodness you have to know each of these dude if you're just saying it because it's in the scriptures you know the mark of the beast. He has no clue what that is. 
None. Latter-day signs has no clue what those are. You have to know astronomy, dude. The signs in the heavens, how are you going to know them if you don't even know astronomy? When it talks about a planet being born from the constellation of Virgo, do you even know which planet retrogrades? Do you even know what retrograde means? Nope! And so then you have to know, well, it's designated as Jupiter. Then you have to know all about Jupiter. His life, his ministry, <laughs> and his symbols of lightning. And how it's applied in the scripture. And this guy is clueless. And yet, Mormons flock to him. He's the one they love because his presentation is better. <laughs> and it's all a bunch of BS. It's lies. Because of the war having just begun, officially, yesterday. And I did the sign in the heavens with it. The moon was born out of Virgo. I told you, this is the countdown time. To Ash Wednesday but not in the learning of the Christians, the learning of the Jews. I did the whole video. Yay. 20 people. So disgusting.